Hola, buenas tardes. Quiero Hugo de naranja, por favor. Gracias. 25 pesos, something like uh, two shekel, three shekel, one dollar. Gracias. In the middle of the street, in the middle of Mexico City, orange juice, I'm going to give it a try. Tell you what I think. Um, if you guys have uh, been uh, viewing my uh, previous videos, I was uh, exploring Mexico City for the last uh, few days. I've been here for five days now. And uh, I took an Airbnb here, center of town in Roma. I will put the information down below. And uh, just exploring the city for you guys. See how it looks. See how it looks. See how it feels uh, hanging out in uh, Roma. Staying in Roma. Enjoying the food. Enjoying the vibe of Roma. And uh, you, if you didn't watch these videos, you can go back and watch my uh, videos. living in uh, Puerto Escondido for a while and then I was going for a trip uh, to uh, Puerto Vallarta, Baja California, finishing all the coast of uh, Mexico and uh, today is a big day for me after two months of traveling. So basically it's a huge day for me today because after uh, two months of traveling, finishing the coast of uh, Mexico, I started in uh, Quintana Roo and traveled all along the coast all the way to Baja California for five months now. And today is a big day for me because uh, today I'm in Mexico City right now, but today I have my flights, actually in a few hours I have my flights back to Puerto Escondido in Oaxaca City, the great state of Oaxaca, the state of the banana and the mango. And I'm very excited because I love this place, this place is amazing. And if you don't know a lot about this place, you can go back to my videos and watch. I have a lot of videos talking about Puerto Escondido. And this is actually my last tour, Sunday morning, Sunday noon, in center of Mexico City, walking the city, enjoying the great vibe and energy of the city. Let's go see what we can get. Come here to the center of town, locate yourself in one of the neighborhoods in the center. It can be Condesa, it can be Roma. Me personally, I love Roma. It reminds me of Europe. It's so exotic and it's so classic. And so many coffee shops and restaurants. Just take a nice Airbnb, locate yourself here in the center of town. Explore town, explore the museum. Most of the art museums in the city are for free and the ones that aren't they're so cheap, so just come in here for four or five days, just relax. You can do everything by walking or Uber, and I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. That's an amazing town, amazing atmosphere, amazing energy. Look at that, look how beautiful the city is. All the boulevards, all the old classic buildings. I mean, what else can you ask, huh? What else can you ask?
if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, support this channel. Hola, buenas tardes. Quiero Hugo de Naranja, por favor. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, guys. 25 pesos, something like uh, two shekel, three shekel, one dollar. Gracias. In the middle of the street, in the middle of Mexico City, orange juice. I'm going to give it a try. Tell you what I think. Look at the fruit and the, the vegetables here all around. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Let's give it a try. Frida Kalu, the person behind me that's uh, like a humorist or a sarcastic uh, caricature about uh, the famous artist Frida Kalu, the Mexican, the Mexicana Frida Kalu. Uh, Frida Kalu, if you guys never visited Mexico, uh, Frida Kalu, she's a totally, she's a totally hero here in uh, Mexico. There's uh, like uh, portraits over there and uh, it's everywhere. Every house, people are doing their tattoos. So this is something really, really, really strong in the modern, uh, kind of modern uh, Mexican culture. And this is something that I just found walking on the street and I really wanted to show it to you guys. It's hilarious, isn't it? I have so many, uh, so many beautiful and positive things to say about, um, about Mexicans and about uh, the Mexican uh, people, the heart. Yeah, they work with their art, they're so sensitive and kind and uh, generosity and they want to help you and they're so welcoming and uh, smiling. I mean, it's, it's, it's the majority. It's one thing I would uh, suggest you guys to learn and to understand before you come in to visit this place. I mean, uh, cultural, uh, something that I've noticed is uh, is very uh, is so important for them, and you want to be uh, um, up uh, conscious about it, and, uh, and to be sensitive about it. Uh, the Mexican people are very uh, sensitive for their territory. It doesn't mean if it's a huge uh, house with a huge uh, garden or a small, a little store in the street with. Uh, the 50 centimeters that you can uh, purchase yourself. I mean, if you see tables, if you see stuff that is not belong to you, don't put your stuff, you know? And once you go inside the store, they're all gonna look at you and try to understand right, right away uh, why you enter to the store and they when they come to you right away. So that's the way they are. It's not personal and you don't need to take it uh, like uh, in the hard way, just to understand that this is the culture. And they, they put a lot of, uh, uh, attention for their uh, territory and whoever comes inside their territory they they want to know uh, right away uh, what's the reason you are there and they want they want to know what do you want once they understand that you come in peace you're coming to buy and to uh, be a part of the family you're becoming to be a part of the family right away so guys as you could see this city is hundred percent crazy this city never rest this city never sleep that was a Sunday uh, morning uh, tour, Sunday morning, early afternoon tour. The place is packed with people, so many restaurants, so many bars, so many coffee shops you can explore. It's Sunday morning, it's so beautiful, the city is clean, the weather is perfect. This is the perfect time to come visit one of the most beautiful and amazing cities in the world. Guys, one more important thing to know about uh, Mexico City. Before coming to Mexico City, Mexico City is a city that wakes up late. Same as all the Mexican cities, Mexico start the morning, Pretty late. Mexico City is different. Mexico City, the museum 
opens at 10.30 and the city starts to wake up around 12 o'clock. People are having their breakfast around 12 o'clock and the traffic and the city gets crowded around 2. So if you're an early bird like me, you want to find something to do in the morning. Going to yoga classes, going to the gym, going to swim, going for a walk, doing your cardio, work, study, whatever you need to do, you want to do it early until 11 o'clock and then you start your day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, support this channel. It's a small channel with a lot of potential. This is what I think. And don't forget to watch the video right here and right here. For now, Shalom. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye bye.